Hello and welcome to Universal Shipping News, where we ask what the freight is going on with international shipping. I'm Jared Vinyard. Alright, this one is a big deal for U.S. importers and exporters. There are plans for the International Longshoremen's Association to meet with their employers at the East and Gulf Coast ports to talk about an early contract extension. The current ILA contract is set to expire next year in September. Now normally the dock worker unions, they don't agree to new contracts or contract extensions before the previous contract expires. This way, they have their greatest weapons, strikes, threat of strikes, and labor slowdowns at the ports to use as leverage in negotiations. Of course, shippers, on the other hand, would just love to see early contract agreements at the ports to avoid contentious negotiations, slowdowns, shutdowns, delays, and congestion at the ports that seem to be the costly norm of when contracts between the dock worker unions and the port employers expire. Back in August, the International Longshore and Warehouse Union actually agreed to an early contract extension with the Pacific Maritime Association. That agreement brings stability and some trust from shippers to the West Coast, and it also puts pressure on the East Coast to do likewise. According to the Journal of Commerce, the ILA extension that's being discussed would go even longer than the one the ILWU agreed to all the way through September of 2024. For more on this story and all of your international shipping needs, go to universalcargo.com. If you like this video, hey, give it that little thumb up like. Hey, if you didn't like it, give it the thumbs down. That's fine too. Please share this, subscribe, and until next time, stay in ship shape.